What's going on, everybody? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. If you guys haven't been here before, welcome to the channel. I'm Eric, your host, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and first look of a brand new R9280 X Toxic Edition from the people over at Sapphire. Now, you guys pretty much should all by now know that the new R9280 X is pretty much just a rewrapped 7970 card. That's right, has 2048 stream processors, three gigabytes DDR5 memory, 384 bit memory bus, 6400 megahertz effective memory bandwidth. This thing's clocked at a core clock of 1100 and it's overclocked automatically to 1150 through its internal boost stuff. So with that said though, let's jump in, take a look at what comes in the box and just a little bit more about what the card's about. Let's go. All right, folks, so here we have the new box from Sapphire. Now, if you guys have paid attention to Sapphire in years past, this color scheme is totally different than anything they've actually done before. We'll start up here on top where it says the Toxic R9 280X Edition. Now, something very different about this, UEFI ready. So this video card is saying that with compatible motherboards in Windows 8, you'll actually be able to use the UEFI motherboard BIOS to check out your video card. That's gonna be something totally different that that I've never seen before, or it's going to be its own separate UEFI BIOS. I don't know, we haven't got that far yet, but it should be interesting either way. Over here, we see what I talked about earlier, three gigabytes of memory, overclocked out of the box, triple X cooling, GCN architecture, AMD Ifinity, and it's the Toxic Edition. Flip it around the back just real quick. They just show basically a picture of the card, show some more stuff, just talks about the toxic features, the memory. It's basically just reiterating what we already saw on the front. So with that said, let's go ahead and pop the cap of the box open in this nice little virgin box. Okay, so now I've got this box out. So now we'll go ahead and pop the cap and begin the unboxing. Got a little thing on top right there. Then we have the card, nice and giant sized card some more foam, and then down here, all of the accessories. Let's take a look at the accessories first. Once I get the thing out of here, the box here, this is a very interesting gear. Come on out of there, sucker. I really didn't like this today. All right. All right, so starting off with the content. First up, we have the DisplayPort cable. Always important if you need it. Crossfire bridge, got a single one of those. Molex to eight pin and Molex to 8 pin. So you get two Molex to 8 pin power converters. Mini HDMI to standard HDMI connector. Driver's installation CD. A little case badge in there as well. Information, warranty guide, all that kind of stuff. Paperwork. Um, registration number, everything's in the back of this. Make sure you register to the Sapphire Club because that way your warranty kicks in. So let's get all this out of the way. That is the box content. And now let's move on and let's check out the card itself. Oh yeah. Now this is a bad boy. I love the way this thing looks. Now, like I said before, you guys can see this is a totally different color scheme for these guys. In fact, uh, it looks very Zotac-ish. The colors on here look very, very orange Zotac. But check it out. We've got three fan design, two outer fans, and then a smaller fan in the center. These all run, and you can change the speeds on them and adjust them to keep your card running cool. Actually, very, very nice. Down here, we see the PCI 3.0 interface. Cards, obviously, two-slot design. You guys can see all of the heat fins and everything underneath here. Aluminum heat fins running all the way along the side of the card. Flip it around the back end. Looks pretty cool, right? Flip around over to this side. Two eight pin power connectors. Nice little window here, which I'm hoping lights up. We'll know that when we plug the card in. I'm gonna flip the card around. Here we see the Sapphire logo. We have their dual BIOS button right here on the side. Catch that little bad boy right there. Now let's look at the back of the card. 
Now, you guys all know I love it when they cover the back of the card with something like this. It makes the card so much better to handle. Don't have to worry about touching and shorting out any of the electricity in the card. I absolutely love this. Thumbs up for Sapphire for including this. We're going to flip this around once again. You see the two crossfire fingers. Flip it around one more time. DVI-I, DVI-D. Standard HDMI and two main display ports. The standard that you see on most all of the AMD cards. So that's it, folks. This is the card. You guys saw what came in the content and that's everything there that comes in the box. All right, folks, so there you have it. The brand new R9280X Toxic Edition from the people over at Sapphire. You guys can see this thing's got a pretty cool cooler on it. We're hoping that this thing actually has a lot better temperatures than even the other 280Xs that we've seen. But so far, all of the aftermarket cooling's been doing a pretty good job, and I'm hoping these folks will just fall along the same type of thing. We'll have the full review of this in a few days, folks. We just got this in, so we got to throw it in the test bench, run those old tests, see how hot it runs, see how loud it is and bring all that information to you good folks so also if you want any information about this card looking to buy it look down there below the like button in the description you guys will find all that information out. and if you like the video make sure you hit that button also if you're not sub to the channel you guys like what you see and you want to see more then hit that sub button so you can see what's always going on here on tech of tomorrow peace out folks